Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Jeremiah's J-Man, Man, Earl J-Man Speaks, coming to you live and direct from our world headquarters here in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. It's good to be back in the rock, baby. Uh, we were in Atlantic City all week. Before that, we were in Georgia. Before that, we were in South Dakota. So, been all around the world and I, yeah, yeah. Today, we are talking about all kinds of things. But on the drive home, on the very long, well, I rode, Amy drove. Uh, on the long ride home, it's always, what can I do to bring value to my people? And we made a lot of great relationships, met a lot of new people. You guys came to my classes and I thought, man, what can we do to help you take action? Right? Cause I hate when I go to a class and I sit there myself as a student, I go, damn, yeah, that's good. Oh man, I could really, I could really change my real estate business. And then I do absolutely nothing. We've all done it. I'm here to make sure it never happens to you again. All right. So in the comments, as we get started, why don't you post where you're watching from? We got uh, some people on the live. And if you're watching this on the replay, you could tell us that as well. A big part of everything we do is networking with other people all across the country. So you can network with each other because so many people relocating. Uh, it's important that you make it a great day and meet new people. So let's see who we got people from. Oh, middle of the mitten. <laughs> I love how my Michigan folks are always like, here's the mitten, you see that? All right, fantastic. All right, we got Tiffany from Long Island. Who else, who else we got? Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, I'll come back to you. When you guys are ready, seems like maybe you don't have your coffee. Yet, or maybe you're in the Central or Pacific or or Hawaii even. Oh, Michelle watching from Long Island. All right. See, look, Tiffany and Michelle, you guys should connect. See where on the island you guys are at. We got Yvette Forster also from the NYC, and she don't stop. Let me just put everybody up in here. All right. So for those of you who are with us a couple weeks ago, we talked about the Retta verse. Real Estate Tech Advantage, okay? The Rediverse, Real Estate Tech Advantage. Uh, we're going to be launching this great program. We are, let me see how many days out we are from this. One second. We are 21 days, 14 hours, 49 minutes, and five, four, three seconds away from launching, okay? But here's what I want you to do first. What I want you to do first is to gather your things. And maybe you just grab a piece of paper. Um, and, and this is going to be kind of an exercise for you on how you can take better action in 2022, because I don't, I'm not that guy that goes like this. Hey, new year, new you, right? New year, new you. No, I think new year, greater you, cause you're already great. Everybody's great in their own way. So it's important that you, uh, Decide to be greater, okay? Not just new you, because you're already awesome. So gather your things, and uh, if you just came from the Triple Play Conference 2021, you may have a lot of things that you either went through the expo, you attended some sessions, maybe you took copious notes, maybe you have a pile of notes. So what you wanna do is gather those notes right now, or just write on a piece of paper. What was your favorite session? What was your best uh, training that you attended in the last six months that you can you can remind yourself of because i'm gonna bring this up hold up hold up wait a minute hold up here we go boom oh look at how that came across like that i don't even have my i don't even have my uh my stream deck hook up i'm doing this on the fly but number one accountable right i'm gonna i said i'm gonna give you five steps here number one accountability partner is what i would uh say but i wanted to keep it short and not block my whole screen, so that's why I did. Ooh, look at that, accountable, accountable. So find yourself an accountability partner. Let's say I wanted to implement live video into, oh, Jeffrey's a little bit late, but good morning, sir. Let's say I wanted to implement live video into my real estate business, right? You've been tired of hearing about it for the last 10 years, Jeremiah keeps talking about it, I'm finally gonna do it. You're gonna overcome your fear, you're gonna get um, you know, get over yourself already. Get over yourself already. 
So you get an accountability partner. What that means, I'll give you a great example, right? I like to run. I have to run in order to keep my sanity. Uh, I have an I have two accountability partners for that. And just last night, right, I, I get home from six, almost, almost eight hours to get back from Atlantic City with all the traffic and stuff. So I get home, and like exhausted, and I'm already starting to have this conversation with myself about, you know what, uh, I, you know, I need rest. My body needs rest, and you know, I deserve it. I could probably just sleep in tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then I get a text message from my buddy Parker. Buddy Parker says, yo, we run it tomorrow morning? And I'm like, shit. Yeah, yes, yes, we are. And so now, because we hold each other accountable, that text message, once it happens, and, and you got to make sure you pick the right people, right? Because you got to say, look, it, I'm going to hold you accountable, but you also have to do the same for me. Because there's times that I text him and he's like, oh, damn it, yeah. But we know that once we say yes to one another, that it's going to get done. Once you make that decision, okay, somebody's holding you accountable, you make that decision, it's going to get done, Okay. So find out who that person is. I don't think it has to be somebody in your office. I don't think it has to be somebody even in real estate, right? If you say, hey, I want to do live video, call your mom. I don't care. Just somebody that will somebody that will hold you accountable and say, ma, I'm going to start doing live video. I plan to do one live video per week. Um, hold on. I got this thing in my, in my shot. Here we go. This thing's glitching today. Okay. So you find find that, that accountability part, uh, person. Number two. Boom, 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 boom. Number two is a mentor. So it's very different than an accountability, right? A mentor is somebody that you look up to. A mentor is somebody you feel like they're doing what you want to do. They're who you want to be when you grow up. And you know what? It's it's In real estate, we see this sometimes in different ways. Let's say I'm a younger tech savvy agent, millennial, Z Gen, right? Super tech savvy, but I don't have experience. I can find a mentor that has experience in the business, and then I could also mentor them. I could be a reverse, it's a symbiotic relationship, right? A reverse mentor to them and say, hey, I, I need your mentorship for the experience in real estate, but I can mentor you when it comes to technology, social media, whatever it is. Okay, so mentor helps you. That's that person that you can call and go, yo, I'm having a problem with this live stream. What can I do? Or, hey, I'm having a problem with this transaction. Or, hey, I'm trying to grow my team. I need to fill in the blanks here. What, what am I missing in order to grow my team to, to where I want to do? You know, So it doesn't have to be somebody in your office, somebody in real estate either. right? It could be just somebody that you respect as a good business person. Uh, I can tell you, like for me as a speaker, I'm trying to continuously get better and same thing in real estate. But as a speaker, I go, man, this person's killing it. And I, you know, I, I don't want somebody to like a yes person. I was trying to figure out the best politically correct way to say this, right? I, I don't want somebody to go, oh my God, you're so great. You're awesome. You're the best. I'm like, no, I need real feedback. I need you to tell me what I need to hear in order to grow. Uh, number three is a coach. So a coach also holds you accountable, but it's usually somebody that you pay an above average amount of money to. And that way it's amazing, right? Because your manager could tell you the same thing. But as soon as you pay a coach uh, any amount of money, then you're like, I got to do it. I got to do it. Even though the manager who I was paying nothing to was saying the same thing. Now my coach said it. And it's like, okay, uh, I can tell you. You know, there's all kinds of coaches you have to, whether it's somebody who coaches you on your business, whether it's somebody who coaches you on a specific skill set that you feel you need improvement on, whatever that might be, um, right? <laughs> An above average amount of money. That's, Carrie, it's like, why do we do the things? Because you're like, oh, well, I pay them all this money and I don't want to waste it. Uh, but if somebody told you that same thing for free, then you're less likely to, to take action, right? I have companies that hire me to come in. And they go, you know what? You said the same thing that we've been saying for six months, but because you're not from the company, they want to hear it or they want to believe you. And it's amazing how that works. Okay. Uh, now, get your stuff. Get your stuff. Let me see. Where is my stuff? 
going to grab it out of my book bag. But let's just pretend here for a second. I'm in disarray because I just got into the office and got set up here quickly. Okay. So let's say this is all of the stuff here. These are all my notes. This is nice. Are These are all my notes that I have from the classes that I attended. Go through all of the notes and review them again. Okay, and I want you to really kind of look through because there's often times where we write notes and we're like, the hell is I thinking there? It made sense when you wrote the note, but after the fact, you're like, I, I no clue. This is some kind of shorthand at the time. I didn't have much sleep and I didn't know what I was writing, but I don't know. Maybe you have somebody else that was in the class with you. You guys can compare notes and, and see what, what they're taking. Again, accountability person maybe, right? If you're in the same class, um, see what you both thought were great takeaways from that class and then say, okay, out of all of these things, maybe I'll just let me get this off for a second. Out of all of these things, what's the one thing that will have the biggest impact on my life? And I'd like to say whether, you know, you're setting goals, it's whatever you want to be, do, or have. So I know agents are like, you know what? This last year I worked a lot. I want to have some kind of balance or the semblance of balance or be able to spend more time with my family because what the hell good is all this money if I'm dead or I don't have the time uh, to enjoy it. So maybe maybe that's that's the goal for you. But what's the one thing that you feel will have the biggest impact on your business? Because when I talk about technology, I get it, guys, right? There's times if you're in a, a tech or video class with me and I'm like, pew, 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 and I just keep, keep, let me hit you with the DJ air horn here. Right? I keep hitting you with nugget, 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 nugget. And at the end, you're like, whoa, my brain's going to explode, right? And, and they say, well, this is too much to overload. And they say, well, how do you, how do you eat an elephant? Oh, yes, Jeffrey, that DJ Aaron was few. Um, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And so it's like, look at all your knowledge and say, what's, what's the one thing that I feel will have the biggest impact on my life or my business? And let's start there. And then go, what's the second, what's the third, what's the fourth, and what's the fifth? I think I like, you know, we like fives, right? Fives or threes are, are always good. Maybe it's the top three. But when you then take those top five or three items, let me bring back my list here. Pew! Right? You decide. <laughs> I don't, I'll make it on my own sound effects. I don't need a, I don't need a stream deck. But you decide, okay. Let's say I evaluate it and I say, I want to create a real estate show. Yeah, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's, it, it's, it's a saying. It's a saying, Tiffany. It's a, a metaphor, if you will, for when you have this big task or you know, insurmountable goal or thing and you don't know where to start. One bite. Start on the little foot. <laughs> and then, you know, one bite at a time, you, you get the element. So you say, out of, okay, out of the items that I want to do now, how do I get there? Let's say I want to create a real estate show. I want to have a show that I do every single week because I, I feel like with video, you, know, you got to be consistent. You got to have a schedule. You got to stay committed to your goals. And I say this all the time, but I can't say it enough. It's like real grinding real grinding right yo yo man i'm out here grinding in these real estate streets real grinding is when you do the same thing consistently over time and you're not seeing any results and video will be like that i promise video will be like that so don't think you're gonna do one video and then like oh my god that is so wonderful i'm gonna use them every no you got to continuously create content so schedule a show every week once a week where uh you know, if this is your goal, right? We're kind of giving you an example. And stay committed to it. Stay committed to it for 90 days. I mean, it's going to be at least 90 days before you see some kind of uh, result or insight or value. And you need to track it, right? Whatever you're doing, uh, you create that. You take action, action. You create the deadline. And then you really have to evaluate or, or look at the insights. When we talk about videos, it's like, okay, I have to, as much as it hurts me, I have to go back and look at the insights and say, wow, that live stream about taking action on your training really sucked. Maybe I shouldn't create 
content like that anymore, right? So you have to really dial into your content. See, um, when you, especially when you do live stuff like this, you see that when there's more interaction and more people commenting and more people engaging, that's usually a better topic. So you, you would create, you know, pillars of content. We've talked about this too, but pillars of content where you have like four pillars and you do something within that pillar every four weeks and you keep repeating that uh, and see, see what your results look like. But then scheduling it really does give you a deadline, right? You say, well, I want to do this. Um, I went to a class and they talked about virtual agents and, and having a virtual assistant. I will have a virtual assistant by the end of January. Okay. For me to do that, what other tasks, you know, what are the things that I need to do to make that happen? What are the things? So if you're watching this on the live or playback, just put one thing. What's the one thing you feel could have the biggest impact on your life in 2022? See my closer? I'm a closer in case you didn't know. Okay, everybody's tired. I'm going to go over here, do some screen sharing. See what happens here. See, J-Man's rise is coming. The ice cream man is coming. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get ready to launch, baby. Um, so you should see in the comments up above, there's two different links that you can. Uh, Jeffrey's going to win win the lotto. Okay, awesome. Um, I mean, that's a good retirement strategy, right? Win, win the lotto. Uh, Let's get ready to launch. Like I said, it's. 21 days, 14 hours, 35 minutes, and seven seconds. Our real estate tech advantage is going to combine uh, a great CRM as well as J Man's Lister Predictor, as well as the bots, Sir Bot a Lot. So if you get with us now, um, first of all, what you want to do, this will get you on the waiting list. It's on the comments up above. It's reta.jmanspeaks.com. You go there, you put in your information, and then we're going to hit you up next week when we start bombarding you. No, when we start communicating uh, everything that we're going to be doing. Okay? But I will say this. Let's see. I'm going to come over here for those of you who know nothing about what we do. It's going to take a second to load because I'm streaming so many things. One second. Refresh that bad boy, baby. I'm at the mercy of the internet. Okay, there we go. Super laggy. Super laggy, bro. So you're going to go to jmanbot.com slash sirbotalot. I'm going to put this in the comments as well. Uh, if you know nothing, because we only, we only have a certain amount of time, we like to keep this short. If you know nothing about messenger bots, uh, there's a free webinar right here on this website that I am posting in the comments right now. Uh, you can watch the webinar for free. You can also demo the bot for free. Uh, now we have a bunch of different bots available. Uh, we have one for real estate agents. We have one for real estate organizations like, uh, let's say if you're an AE or ed director of a real estate board, man, do we have some great things for you. Or even for your brokerage, we have something for you. If you're in the mortgage company, we have something for you. We got it all. We built these by hand, not necessarily by hand, but by mind. Uh, so really check it out. The board bot, come in here. Boop, see that? You got the real estate bot demo. You click that button. It'll demonstrate it for you. And if you're unfamiliar, it's basically like a predicted conversation with a personal touch. We have it for you as a speaker to provide our resources. But we also have it for you as a realtor. Realtor, remember, you go in there and say, hey, first time home buyer stuff. We got seller guide, buyer guide, all kinds of, you know, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom. Let's see what the whole list. We got the welcome message to your bot. We got the digital business card. We got the open house COVID questionnaire. We got all of the things. We got QR codes for those things. Hold up. I forgot about my QR code. About to bust this out here in a second. We got QR codes. We got web chat and exit pop up. So that means when somebody hops on your website, boom, pops up, says, hey, want some resources? I got some here for you. You don't even have to talk to us. And they go, they get the resources that they want. 
Okay. I know uh, we're working with somebody in Michigan, actually, uh, a broker in Michigan, and he's got a ton of ton of traffic coming into his website. This is the number one way he's getting leads coming in because, hey, the consumer doesn't want to talk to you. They want the resources. They're doing the research. And so when this pops up, he gets them in there. And, oh, would you like a home equity estimate? What's that? Boom. Hits them with that. Now he knows the people that want to sell. Okay. We got a Facebook comment trigger. Now let me just make sure I got the right trigger. So I created something for you guys earlier. I want to make sure that it's active. I'm giving you a, a look behind the scenes. Okay. So the triggers for the comments, and so we'll see if this works, um, is greater 2022 or greater me or greater me with no space or greater 2022 no space. Okay. So if you go, it should work. However, with the Facebook comment triggers, could be a little bit different, but on this post directly, on this live stream directly, um, if you do that, but I will give you another way, okay? That's not all. I'm gonna give you a QR code to scan, and I'll give you a, a URL in a second. You also have, like I said, the full buyer guide, full seller guide, home equity estimate, and then just a poop ton of other resources for you to enjoy. That's combined with, wait, there's more folks. Let me see the applause I have here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come over here to the Get Sellers Now. So this this website is called It's Get Sellers Now. Guess what it's for? For you to get sellers now, my friend. Holy shoot, damn my game! I can't believe how creative I was at that. Uh, but this uses predictive analytics. You don't have to worry. This is just for informational. Again, there's a webinar that we did here. This is powered by Revaluate, and how this works is you upload your database. So those of you like, I'm not gonna prospect, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call Fizbo's. I'm not gonna just you know, randomly door knock a neighborhood and say, who you know, who are you thinking about buying or selling? If you're, you're in your New York, New York State, I think our state of emergency is still in effect. Jeffrey's gonna comment, I bet you he knows. Um, but you upload your database. So within your database, it will tell you who's likely to sell. Okay, it'll say, oh, Michelle, she's, you know, she just went up to an 80 out of 100. She's likely to move. When somebody reaches that threshold of 80 to 100, one in five of those people will sell within six months. This has been verified by an independent third party. So, and it really, it's just you making a phone call to your people and saying, hey, hey, Jeffrey, how are things? And then Jeffrey's going to go, oh, it's, you know, funny you should call. I know. I know, right? Funny I should call. Why? Why? Why, did, why is that, Jeffrey? Oh, well, we were just thinking about some. Oh, 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 how did I know that? Because I'm awesome and I use data to predict the future. Okay? Let's get sellersnow.com. But two free webinars there for you for free. But wait. But wait. There's more. Okay, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to bring up my QR code. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So if you scan that QR code you see here, it's just weird when it's flipped the other direction. I'm like, okay. If you scan that QR code, that's going to give you another free gift, folks. Look at, look at this. All you have to do is, some of you are still in your pajamas and you're getting all these nuggets. So I have a, it's a handout that we would have on our longer broker management in the new millennium class. Uh, if you were at triple play, we did this class on Tuesday at 10 o'clock, it's two hour class, two hour CE. Um, I didn't give you any handouts because they're, it's more than what the, this handout is more than what we talked about in the class. But let me tell you what's in it. You scan this, you're going to get... Boom, 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 boom. Maybe I could pull it up. One second. You're going to get all of the things. You're going to get a business plan template. You're going to get... Hold on. I got to pull this up because it's going to be better for me to pull it up for you guys. Broker management in the new millennium. Uh, you're going to get a template for you to... Uh, 
economic forecast, meaning if you want to make six figures next year, or you want to make 200K next year, or you want to make 300K next year, gross than net, we have a template for you so you can figure out, okay, my average sale price is 500,000 for my Long Island people. Maybe it's five, 600, right? So then you figure, okay, that 500,000, I have, uh, on average, we make three apples off that 500,000. Three apples then, okay, what's my, my split with the company? Boom. What's my average expense per listing that I have? Take that, so it's not just how much money you, you make, it's how much you net. And we're gonna give you that for free, my friends. Broker management in the new millennium. It's always hard to type, here we go. Is this it? Let me quick look this bad boy, is this it? Yeah, boy! All right, I'm gonna bring this up now. Hold up, wait a minute. Don't go there because I ain't with it. I think I could just drag it up in here. Let's see what happens. No, that's not working for me. I can only plant so much. All right. Well, you get it. If you scan that QR code, you're going to get it. Here's what's in there. Um, describing your business, what are your, you know, it, it, it really is a template to help you. And then your goal setting, your minimum commission amount, your mission statement, your vision statement, smart goals, worksheet, business plan template, translating contacts into closing. So actually really understanding, Hey, this is what I want to make. Cause some of you go like this. I want to make a lot of money this year. How are you going to do that? I don't know, I'm gonna show up at work. That's not a plan, that's what amateurs do. Real business people will have a plan in place and say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna sign up for J-Man's Rediverse Real Estate Tech Advantage, very energetic, really stupendous education verse. See what I did there? Uh, Rediverse, I'm gonna sign up for that because that will incorporate the predictive data, the messenger pots. Okay, wait a minute, it gets better along with a CRM, wait, there's more, along with uh, a six part training program. What? And then, and then, and then, and then, you know what else? Ongoing training once a month for the entire year. Okay, so make sure you go up to says reda.jmanspeaks.com, sign up for that. We're gonna get you the information next week. I'm now gonna open it up for any other questions. Um, I can't believe I'm giving you this 10 page handout for free because it's shoot I should charge for this but I won't because you know why oh you even have a buyer intake card in there so like having a system in place a buyer intake form and a sales contract to closing checklist all I do is bring value and you guys are not even clapping out loud for me so let me go back over here I'm gonna make the people clap for me again here we go please Excited applause. <laughs> yes, of course, there's always more. All we do is deliver value for you guys, folks. So if you check it out, make sure you, here, I'm going to put the URL in the comments as well to get this freebie. The freebie that I'm giving you. Don't you know it's true? Girl, you know it's true. Who really sang that song? Don't say Millie Vanilli. If you tell me, you will win an extra prize. Oh. Copy. This is going to go here in the comments. Okay. That URL will get you the handout. Tune in a little bit later. I want to say I got to look at my schedule. Um, I got another Zoom right after this, uh, but we are, we have space for four more coaching clients. We freed up some space. So if you know somebody who's thinking that they need a coach, whether it's, uh, we got one that we picked up for an entire office, a brokerage, right? So that's kind of a, a group coaching model, but we also do individual coaching on our areas of expertise. So hit us up on that. But here, later on, I'm going to be doing the unboxing. So if you want to tune into the channel again, the MV7 podcast microphone from Shore. 
I just love it. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. This is uh, La Huayna right here, bro. And uh, I'm going to be unboxing that, testing it, and showing you kind of the difference. Um, I'm going to have them both coming into my mixer. So we're going to do that. I also have an unboxing for my, my desk that came, uh, my new desk, which is going to go like like here so I can demo stuff and talk about stuff and just have my stand-up desk here uh, in, in the picture in the camera. Uh, new marks. What is new marks, Jeff? I don't know what that is. Is that a microphone? Okay. Well, this is Jeremiah's J Man Monero. We want to thank you for tuning in to our program today. Oh, great mic. Now you're giving me a you giving me a different mic, dude. You told me the MB7, bro. All right. Well, we're gonna see how it is. Um, and again, before you making your purchase, I'm gonna do a comparison. I'll probably do a separate video and say, here's the MacBook microphone. Hold up, I'll show you this quick. Here's the MacBook microphone. You can see here how like tinny and like rah, 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 that sounds. I don't really like that at all. There's some days I forget that that's on and I don't. Then here's my Audio Technica uh, ATV something. This microphone that you're hearing right now. Oh, Newmark saying great. Okay, girl, you know it's true. Thank you. <laughs> um, but you hear the difference between this mic and the MacBook microphone. This microphone's on sale right now. Uh, it was a Cyber Monday deal, which is still still going. I hate when they do that. Uh, for $89, bucks, 89 dollars So if you go to jmanazon.com, that's that's the storefront, or you use the equipment.jmanseminars.com, that will take you th through all of our recommendations for equipment to help you uh, be better, do better, and be greater in 2022. So this is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Let's see what kind of music we're going to go out on. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I got the podcast microphone here. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, still balling. That's what we say. J Man, don't you know that we can? We're gonna hip hop all the date to the top. I can freestyle. Don't you know that I spit bars all day? Cause you can't get in my way. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm out of here. Don't you know that we have to get done? So we will be out of my office now. Cause we love you. See you. Bye.